In this video, we are going to continue with factorizing, and we are going to focus on the second one, grouping. You will find this on page 101 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Grouping. In the expression 8AC minus 6AD plus 12BC minus 9BD, there is no common factor. So we can think of factor, factoring in pairs or factorizing in pairs. To factor in pairs, we group, for example, the first two terms together and the last two terms together so that each group has its own highest common factor. When you group terms, there must, um, there must be a positive sign between the brackets. If there's a negative sign, the signs in the bracket which follows will change. Very important. But let's look at an example. If I look at this, there's four terms. So basically, if I go and I take out a common factor, 2a, out of the first two, I cannot take 2a out of the next two. So I take a different common factor, 3b. Okay, and that's what I did. I took out 2a and I divide and I get this. I took out 3b and I divide and I get this. And then I take out the bracket, just like I showed you in the previous video, as a common factor. And then I divide and this will be my final answer. Very important, the expression had four terms. After being factorized, it has one term. Okay, let's continue. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do just number A, um, this is all positive, and then you can do number D. As soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Now, just take note, grouping is actually like highest common factor. It's just that you do it with more than one term. Okay, but let's, let's, with, I will say that you take up two different highest common factors and at the end create a bracket that's the same. Okay, so let's start with number A. If I have BX plus BA plus AX plus AY. Okay, so in this case, I take B out as a common factor. And if I do that, what will be left? X plus Y. And if I take A out as a common factor, there, there's a positive, so it's going to work out nicely. So X plus Y. Now, there was four terms I want to show you. There was four terms. I took out two different common factors. Now, there is only two terms. Now, take note that you have a common factor there. So if I take out that as a common factor, and we did this in common factors, taking out the bracket, and if you divide what is left, B, and if you divide what is left, A, and that's your final. And then I'm going to look at the last one. Let's just move this a bit down. Okay, and then this one will be number D. P3 minus 5P squared plus 3P minus 15. Again, take out the common factor. You can also take it out of the first and, and the third and the second and the fourth. So you can rearrange the terms. But if I take out this one, so it's going to be P squared. If I divide, it's P minus 5. And in this case, it's 3, and if I divide, it's p minus 5. And now I take out the common factor there, so it's p minus 5, and it's going to be p squared plus 3, and that's the common factor. In this case, if you notice, all of them was positive. We're going to look now at an example where the sign in between is going to be negative. So if I look at this one, I do exactly the same. I take out 3x. I take out y. But due to that negative sign, I must just be careful. The signs is going to change. So just, just focus on your signs. So if you say negative, um, 
ay divide y it will just be um, a okay let's just see there's the negative so it's negative a y divide y so the negative is going to be there but if you say positive 2y divide y um, negative y okay let me let me write it better for you in this case it was negative a y divide negative y so the and a negative and a negative and that's why it became a positive and in this case it's going to be 2y divide negative y and that will bring you to that negative and then it cancel and it's 2 and then it's the answer okay again I want you to stop the video and I want you to do A and I'm going to give you a little bit more I want you to do B and then the last one F there can be more than four terms okay let's just create a space okay this is going to be try now 15 so if we start with the first one if it's xy minus 2xr minus 3ry plus 6r squared so if I start there I take out x and then it's going to be y minus 2r I take out negative okay so take note it's a negative that I'm taking out just want to get that position for us okay so if I take out negative and I take out a 3 and a R now a negative did not write the negative is a positive okay so this is just going to be Y a positive 6 divided by negative 3 it's going to be negative 2 R and then I'm just going to say oh two terms and the brackets are the same so take out this bracket so it's going to be y minus 2r and if I divide this is x and if it I divide this is 3r and that will be my final answer okay let's just see was this this was just the first one there try now 15 the first one and then if I look at number B then this is going to be 6 AY minus 2 BY minus 3 AX plus BX okay so start by taking out 2Y if I divide I get 3A if I divide I get negative B minus x if I divide I get 3a and if I divide I get negative b okay so I take it out as 3a minus b if I divide I get 2y and if I divide this cancel I get negative x okay and then the final one number F um, I think I'm going to make place here because sometimes the pen struggle at the bottom so let's rather do number F here on top so this is going to be 6AB minus 3BC plus 2AD minus CD plus 8 a minus 4c okay so again this is now 6 so I'm going to take out different ones out of each and every one so let's start with the first one this one I take out 3b if I divide I will get 2a if I divide I get minus c there's a positive okay this is nice uh, there's a d if I divide I get 2a and if I divide I get minus C and again it's a positive so it's a 4 it's all on the thing so if I divide I get 2A and if I divide I get minus C now again 
there was one, two, three, four, five, six terms. Now there, there are three terms. Do you see that this will be all the same? So I will get 2a minus c. And if I divide, I get 3b. If I divide, I get plus d. If I divide, I get plus 4. And that will be my final answer.